Ink Ribbon. So as you may have already heard, Mortal Kombat 11 was finally announced to the public last night with a new trailer shown at the Video Game Awards, but not much else was revealed about the game. That is, until a user on Reddit who apparently worked on the game leaked a whole bunch of information, which I will now go over with you. Now first and foremost, this is a leak, which means there's no way to verify whether any of this is actually true. However, NetherRealm Studios is really bad at keeping the lid on things, having leaked information like this before on almost every other game they've made in the past, including Injustice 2, which had a leak very similar to this that turned out to be 100% true. So I'm going to say this is probably the case with Mortal Kombat 11 as well. But with that said, let's get to it. First of all, what you all came here for, the playable characters. The person who leaked the info stated that they have seen tons of promotional artwork and renders for these characters, which most likely means they will be playable in the game. Among the quote-unquote confirmed playable characters are as follows. Kano, Lee Mei, Noob Saibot, Boraicho, Johnny Cage, Shang Tsung, Jade, Dagon, Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, Frost, Kenshi, Kotal Khan, Jax, Onaga, and Fujin. Now in a very unusual move for the Mortal Kombat universe, they've decided that any characters that died in previous games will actually stay dead and not be appearing in the new game. The characters stated to not be in the new game are Nightwolf, Sindel, Shinnok, Smoke, Cabal, Melina, Kintaro, Motaro, Baraka, and Stryker. Personally, I find this to be really shocking because some of the characters, like Melina, have become series staples and I can't believe they would just kill them off so casually. But this is Mortal Kombat, so they could always be resurrected or something. I mean, we did have zombie Liu Kang after all. Moving on from that, the game also will have a proper adventure mode, probably similar to the conquest modes of the PS2 games. They said it will feature a two-player co-op where a second player can jump in and out at any time. There will also be a standard story mode revolving around three characters, but focusing mainly on Raiden, specifically punishing him for all he's done, like killing off half the Mortal Kombat roster. The development time for Mortal Kombat 11 has been four years, which is the longest development time of any Mortal Kombat game to date. And other than that, that's pretty much all the information I was able to find as of yet, but I will keep my eyes peeled for anything else. I'd love to hear what you guys think, especially about so many characters being taken out. Let me know in the comments. I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.